Welcome back everybody to another random builds and offered outlaws. Today won't be a real complex one until nothing. Not today, it'll be a little bit until we get into some more complex ones that I've built lately. Which I do have a lot of builds to <laughs> catch up on. A lot. But the first one we're starting off with today is, well, a military hammer. Which I have had in my little build ideas notepad probably for the past two years. <laughs> I have a list of probably at least over 50. Definitely over 20 builds and maybe just a list of let alone 50 tunes itself that somebody wants me to do. And the builds I mostly came up on my own so yeah. But today, we have this, a military Hummer, which I am excited for. So let's go into customizations. You got the front bumper is the same, back bumper, second option, cage. Didn't really add a cage. Also, I want to mention, did y'all enjoy the car show builds, the uh, random builds video last time, where there weren't any audio? Because I thought I did a pretty good job on that. Let me know if y'all like some more like that. I may do the car show builds like that style. And just these normal my builds. In the style I'm doing them right now. Just let me know what y'all think about that. And down in the comments below. Uh, running boards. I have the fourth option on that. One. Roof lights. Fourth option. Snorkel. Third option. Horns. Didn't do anything with them. Spare wheel. I do have a spare wheel in the back. That's the second option. An exhaust pipe, I did not use any. Windshield protection. I think I'm going to put it on there. Now these I would use. But they're a little weird. And plus they cover up my wolf logo on the top. I may build a one in the future that's a different... Maybe an armored Hummer or something. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Jack. Didn't use it. Winch. I did. I do put that on there. Front light. Do have it. Headlights. I changed it to the second option. Gun rack. It's a military Hummer. You need one of those. Uh, repair pack. I do have mirrors. Normal. I mean, why in the heck do you need those on this? Heck, for one, they look weird. Very weird, actually. <laughs> Creepily weird. <laughs> okay, and for antennas. Flags, okay. I have one back here in the back. Which I think I may want to extend just a tad bit. Yep, there we go. Nice. That works out fine. And you can see the wheels and rims and etc. that we have on here. The paint that we have on here is this color. I'm going to put tint pretty much not fully maxed. Just enough to where you can see the gun rack. There you go. I don't need an absurd amount. And wraps did this. Could have sworn I used to have two on here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll just keep that one off of it because we have a nice looking one right now. And decals, you got just really the Wolf Army stuff, which is Wolf Army Services. Yeah, I came up with that myself. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know how good it is or not. Y'all let me know down in the comments below. And also, for that one last time, I had a comment on it about that car show build. I didn't put the wolf logo on it. It's on there. I just never put it on there in the video. I was tired. <laughs> so let's just leave it at that. Okay, so upgrades. I have pretty much everything maxed out except for weight. I wanted to see how weight would affect the vehicle. And more to less make it feel like a tank in a way. And yeah, it kind of does. And I didn't diesel swap it. 
I might do that for the armored version. I did turbo it though. I got lots of ideas of future stuff that we can do with a lot of these things in this game. And it's pretty much limitless. <laughs> Literally. Especially when they add new stuff, which... In fact, I've seen something going across Facebook about a new mechanic. It's a... It's sort of like gun mechanics, and you can actually get out of your vehicle now, which people have been asking for for the past, like, two years, I think. Huh. But it's a little weird looking, but who knows? If the game still runs fine, then there ain't really any things like crazy. And they actually figure them out pretty quickly. Uh, it'll be all great. And let's go ahead and get into tuning. So we have Heavy Duty Solid Axle Pro in front and back. Suspension tune, axe width front, zero. Damping, 3600. Shocks, one. Shock size, 1.4. Stiffness, 14,650. Travel, 0.38. And axle type is just normal. Axe width in the rear is zero. Damping, 2800. Interesting. Rear steering, zero. Shocks, one. Shock size 1.4, stiffness 16,200, travel 0.35, brake type and axle type is 0, and wheel, wheels and tires, rim size 1.0, I think I'm going to expand that to 1.1, wheel radius 1.1, width 1.1, front and rear are both going to be the same. Now gear tuning. First gear is 3.1, second 1.5, third 1.1, fourth 0 0.9, and fifth 0 0.7. And low gear is just whatever the heck you want to set it for. Heck, really any of this stuff is all adjustable by you once you have it. You can make up your own tunes or you can use my tune, who knows. I still really want to get into some tunes though. I have a wide list. list. I have, like, apparently some side-by-side -side, side willy tunes that this guy wants me to do. That one's going to be a little hard, because I've never managed to actually do it before. But, I might have a few more tricks up my sleeve for that. And, let's go ahead and go in here. Yeah, not bad. Let's go ahead and flex test it. Okay. I'd say about 20 flex. But that's not out in the real game. Well, actually, technically it is. But we're not out doing stuff, so who knows how it's going to do. Okay, well, there we go. That's pretty much everything with this build. Let's get out there and test it.